Hey everybody, Adam Savage and I am in the back stacks of the American Museum of Natural History's ichthyology storage, just part of your storage. Oh yeah, this is one of three floors. This is assistant curator Ryan Tony, and in this place, which is a palace to fossils, hmm. one of the largest collections of fossils on the planet, we're about to look at a living fossil. Yeah, indeed. Dude, I, I, I cannot believe what's in here. Can we, can we crack it? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. I'm gonna need a hand though over okay, there. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> This is a big one. All right, I'm just sliding back. Holy cow, it's go. so much bigger than I thought. Yeah, this has got to be one of the biggest. Holy. <laughs> it's stored in something that's making me cough. Ryan, <laughs> tell everybody what this is. This is a coelacanth. These are coelacanths. And coelacanths were, they're called living fossils because we found them in the fossil record long before we found that they were still alive. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. So they thought they were, I mean, they were pretty abundant in the fossil record even. And then they kind of just disappeared something like 60 million years ago. So they were long considered to be an extinct fossil fish. 1938, I think it was, Marjorie Latimer, super cool ichthyologist, uh, was making her rounds of the fish markets in South Africa and found what appeared to be a fish she had only drawn in her fossil fish oh, class. <laughs> so yeah. she was an ichthyologist, she, she was, was able to recognize it. Yeah. And so how long did it take her to, to, to uh, get other ichthyologists to agree that she had found such a rare thing? Well, uh, she actually, she got on the horn immediately with her ichthyology professor, yeah. uh, JLB Smith, and it, it became this whole nightmare trying to get one of these specimens put into formaldehyde in 1938 oh, in, God, in yeah. South Africa. <laughs> So uh, she was running around the city looking for stuff, and she finally got it preserved. And, and about a week later, somebody flew down and confirmed that it was the coelacanth. It was the thing that they always thought was extinct for 60 million years. Am I correct that coelacanths are still fairly rare to find? Yeah, they're, they're not that common. In fact, you know, a lot of specimens or a lot of species that we have in most natural history collections, we have several hundred, maybe yeah. not thousands. But I think there's only a couple hundred coelacanths worldwide in yeah, the museum the, collections. The Academy of Sciences has one. Yeah, we've got two. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we have more than two. It's a story I'll tell you about in a minute. Well, here. that's what I, I that's what you had alluded to, that there was more to this specific specimen yeah. than the one we're looking at. here. Yeah, this big girl's got a story. Uh, so <laughs> a long time ago, uh, somebody wanted to do some research on the internal organs of coelacanths and uh, most of the other natural history museums didn't want anybody cutting into their fish you know because they're so rare but you know we, we like science here at AMH <laughs> so they said yeah cut it open let's see what's in it and they actually cut this big female open and that's when they learned that coelacanths give live birth whoa yeah <laughs> unexpected data <laughs> yeah total bonus yeah um so we actually got six coelacanth. Do you know what a do you know what a baby coelacanth is called? No. <laughs> coelacanth pups. Coelacanth so we got pups. Six coelacanth pups from wow. this specimen. So oh. here you go. This is oh. one of our pups. Yeah. And so is that sort of like part of the birthing amniotic yeah. something? That's the egg sac still oh, attached. Wow. Yeah. And they found six of those in Six her. of those. And they went to various places. One went to uh, the French Museum. One we put here in ethanol. Another mm. one is in our cryo freezer for any, you know, genetic uh, testing they want to do. Okay. Another one actually got sectioned up into a million little slices uh, nice. for histology. Yeah. I guess when you find a bunch of them, you have a sort of, uh, you, you can explore in multiple different yeah, modalities. Yeah, exactly. Um, where do they live primarily? Where do we know, what do we know about where they live? So after the, the hunt for the second coelacanth <laughs> yeah. led us in a, a lot of directions and, uh, they actually ended up finding them in these deep sea caves uh, off the coast of Madagascar, South Africa, Kenya, yeah. you know, Mozambique Strait, I think they found them there. But yeah, really deep water, you know, four to 600 meters. Latimeria is our living coelacanth, at least the South African one. Copy. Um, the African coelacanth, which is named after Marjorie Latimer, the woman who Oh, lovely. It. Yeah, yeah. Well it's deserved. Good. Yeah, of course. <laughs> she's, a, she's, a, she's a fantastic ichthyologist and scientist that I think doesn't get enough praise, especially when you hear about like, you know, famous women in science. You yeah. never hear yeah. Marjorie Latimer, who arguably made the biggest discovery in vertebrate zoology of the 20th century. That is super awesome. So. I also love the, uh, 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 I love the prepared mind ready to be surprised, Oh yeah. right? Like it was so important that it's her mind that was there at that fish market that day. Oh yeah, definitely. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. Ryan, thank you so much for showing me yeah, this of course. ancient and modern living fossil. Yeah, of course. Dude, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hey everybody, 
Thanks for watching that video. Stickers! We have four brand new sticker packs for sale at adamsavage.com and we have stickers to satisfy everybody in your life. We have right up front a Welcome Maker sticker pack that's got the tested logo, measure once, cut twice, more tested logos, Adam, Welcome Maker, Savage Industries, San Francisco. This is great for the beginning maker to start to dress up their toolboxes. We also have Logo Mojo with just some of our big tested logos and the Katakana logo and some fun stuff. Oh, dude, that is awesome. I hadn't even seen that one before. Okay, Logo Mojo. Then we've got Atomisms. There's always more room on the Z-axis to test it. Always be knolling. It's not a problem to solve. It's a process to manage. Oh yeah, this is great. And then finally, we've got Stick Happens, which is for the screw-ups. Measure once, curse twice. We've got Adam eating everything in sight. We have Savage Industry logos. Oh yeah, demerit badge for going down the rabbit hole. The worn out test in Katakana logo. Dude, there are stickers here to satisfy every sticker fetish in your life, adamsavage.com. I cannot wait to see in the comments what you have adorned with these stickers. Thank you. Back to your YouTube rabbit holes.